ever wondered why you experience excessive gas? Today, we're exploring this universal, yet often embarrassing phenomenon. Let's start with the basics. Every time we eat or drink, our body starts the process of digestion. During this intricate process, gas is naturally produced as a byproduct. This is completely normal and a sign that your body is working as it should. However, when we talk about excessive gas, we're referring to a scenario that's a bit different from the norm. This can occur when we swallow air while eating or drinking, especially when we're in a rush. Overeating can also lead to an overproduction of gas, as can consuming certain gas-producing foods and drinks. Foods high in fiber carbonated drinks and even some artificial sweeteners can contribute to this. So the culprits of excessive gas range from our eating habits to the types of food we consume. But what can we do about it? Now that we know the causes, it's time to arm ourselves with solutions to combat excessive gas. As it turns out, there are many ways to reduce excessive gas, and most of them revolve around simple changes in our daily habits. First up, let's talk about eating habits. Eating slowly can make a world of difference. When we eat too quickly, we tend to swallow a lot of air, which can contribute to excessive gas. So take your time, enjoy your food, and you might just notice a decrease in those uncomfortable bloating sensations. Next, consider the amount you're eating. Overeating can be a major culprit in excessive gas production. When we eat large quantities of food, our bodies have to work overtime to digest it all, which can lead to gas buildup. So try to stick to smaller, more frequent meals instead. Now, let's discuss food and drink choices. Certain foods and drinks are notorious for causing gas. These include beans, broccoli, cabbage, carbonated drinks, and even some fruits like apples and peaches. If you notice that, certain foods are causing you discomfort. It might be worth reducing your consumption of them. But don't worry, this doesn't mean you have to give up your favorite foods entirely. It's all about a balanced diet rich in fiber can help regulate your digestive system and reduce gas production. And don't forget the importance of regular exercise. Physical activity helps keep our digestive systems running smoothly, which can help to reduce gas and bloating. If lifestyle changes aren't enough, there are over-the-counter remedies available. These can help to break down gas bubbles in your gut, providing relief from discomfort. However, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new medication. Remember, while excessive gas can be uncomfortable, it's usually not a cause for concern. But if it's causing distress, these steps can help you manage it better. So take charge and take relief in knowing you're not alone in this gas-filled journey.